Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Haven't seen the sun in days, and although there's some light coming through those clouds now, it's just not enough to get things done. Had to break out the generator. So here's a quick glance of what I've been looking at. And up here on the 24 volt system, 300 watts of solar tied into that, getting 30 watts at the moment. Here there's 600 watts of solar on the 48 volt battery, getting 80 watts. This is a lot more than I've seen in the past couple of days. I mean, there's a little light coming in, but as you can see, I'm really not gaining any ground. Back here on the chins, that's a 600 amp hour battery bank, a thousand watts of solar. And as you could see before it clicked off, I'm just out of range of that thing. It was getting like 60 some watts. And then here where I left off the other day, uh, with this Red Odo 300 amp hour battery tied in. I had to pull it out. I woke up this morning. It was down to 5%. And I've slid in a the Time USB that has a 230 amp hour capacity. And 400 watts of solar and getting 56 watts. So as as bad as these values look right now all down here i mean 30 watts off of 300 watts 86 85 watts off of 600 watts 73 off of a thousand watt solar array and 400 watts getting 58 watts and before i started filming this those values were about half again so i was getting really nothing not doing anything so I pulled the Redoto out and had to fire up the generator and I'll show you what I'm doing with that because the, the forecast is many, many more dark days coming and I'm running out of power. So I'm back in the utility room for the uh, main house and these are the two chins tied in parallel together. Those are each 300 amp hour batteries tied in parallel for a 600 amp hour bank. I've got it, them charging off that uh, Victron charger there. And it's got uh, 30 amps going into that battery bank now. And it's reading, I can just read the monitor, you probably won't see it, but over there, the battery monitor says 47.6% full. And then I've got two chargers going. Uh, I drained this one, was down to, or that's where I left you off last time, was I slid out the Red Odo, this one, and slid this one in and woke up this morning. That was down to 5%. So I've got it charged up and it's using a 20 amp charger while that generator's running. We're gonna get that thing charged up as long as that generator runs so it doesn't just sit there at 5% full. And then this is that 300 amp hour uh, Red Odo that we started that experiment with many days ago. And I'm gonna charge that up too and that's got a 30 amp charger going into it. So if I fire up a generator, I make the most use out of it. And I've got three chargers going right now, charging six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 1100 amp hours worth of batteries. So I'm going to let this go. I'm going to run that one gallon of gas in that generator till it's completely gone. I ought to get many hours out of that. And all these will be back up to a pretty good charge. So yeah, if I fire up a generator, I make sure I can squeeze every bit of power into these batteries. And that's just how it goes sometimes. I mean, it has been dark, dark out here. So like I said, I, when I slid that uh, Power Queen out, which was the second one, 
in here. I've got these tied into running the refrigerator. This one was completely full and it still is. It hasn't been tied in that long and the refrigerator is only cycled on once or twice and even that minimal amount of power coming in off of the solar array has been keeping this at 100% full. And that'll go down. And what I keep hoping for, of course, is sunshine, but it's just not happening. The only one that's been holding its ground perfectly, and that's only because uh, only using this for a couple of small applications, has been this uh, Time USB 24 volt 100 amp hour battery, and you can see it's it's not taking too bad of a beating, but like I say, I'm only using that for uh, a few small morning projects every morning. Everything's doing pretty well on that one, but like I said, not using much power out of it. And here comes the rain again. Gonna make it even darker, if that's even possible. Yeah, super, super dark. Been getting a lot of rain. Man, last night it was coming down about three inches an hour. Unbelievable. Not for very long, but it can really dump here. Anyway, still playing musical batteries out here. Just thought I'd show you guys how when I really get down, you got to fire up the generator. And I got to say, that's the first time in months many months I've actually had to use the generator but this time of year it can get dark and sit darkness on you I mean right now this should be the prime sunshine of the day but not to be all right you guys catch you on the next one aloha everybody